For some, it's the hardest race of the year. And for some, it's the one that they all want to win. It's Monaco. It's round six of the PS3 Formula 1 Championship, part of the Vortex Racing Leagues. I'm Andrew the Blade, and thank you for clicking on this video and to uh, join us today for this highlights show. Little rundown of the championship standings as we uh, go through the first five rounds of the championship. We have a new leader at the top of the table. Domino is tied uh, with Richie on 66 but has the lead on countback. In third place it's SS Power on 65. Fourth place Italian Blue on 63. So all to play for at the top of the PS3 F1 table. Fifth place is Tyler on 52. Sixth is Freddy on 44. Seventh is Gadelho on 34. Eighth I Super Scrub on 26, 9th Ferrari Italian 25 and 10th me on 22. So as we come through the swimming pool somebody's off and that wasn't meant to happen. That looks bad, are you all right? So not the great qualifying for me that I was looking for but in the end here's the grid. Freddy takes pole from Italian Blue, Ferrari Italia is in 3rd, Tyler 4th. Uh, Liam in fifth. Oh, and the table's gone, so I didn't get a chance to <laughs> finish the grid. But good turnout. 12, 13 cars on the grid for today. Gives the recipe for what should be an exciting and probably incident packed race. So on the grid, we've got Little Paul to our left, Gadelho ahead. We've got a good getaway. We're up alongside Little Paul and we've taken him on the run to Sandovot. Now, is everybody going to get through the first corner just about? But oh, Little Paul and Gadelho getting into one another. That's all gone wrong. And that is not the start that I was looking for. Innocent bystander in all of that. And now I'm going to damage my front wing a bit more just because. But really not the start we were wanting. Little Paul and Gadelho getting into one another. Maybe Gadelho squeezing Little Paul in towards the wall there a little bit. But this is Monaco and that kind of thing does happen. So not the great start that we were looking for. Later in the lap though Liam spun off and that's not a great first lap for him. And Williams not having a happy time here at the start of the Monaco Grand Prix. So at the end of lap one we're going to pit, we need a new front wing, we're going to take the chance to s switch onto the option tyre, the super soft red banded tyre and we'll uh, see what happens from now on. So on to lap four, oh we've got a spin here, it's Little Paul, Little Paul's had a real problem through Sandoval. Not making things better for himself at all. Little Paul who's had a terrible season so far with so many disconnections. And I think he's got front wing damage as we've been able to easily overtake him there going into Casino Square. Going through the chicane. <laughs> Little Paul clearly in a, in a rush to get back to the pits there. Not sure that's perfectly legal uh, but he lets us back through nonetheless. Lap 6, we're in the tunnel, coming out back into the sunlight and we've lost connection to Don Silva. That's a shame, he was, uh, he'd uh, gained quite a few positions off his grid position but sadly he's disconnected and he's out of the race. So we've overtaken Liam, Liam's taken a pit stop and now we've got Williams 10th and 11th. Now here is an example of how not to let your teammate pass. So we've given him DRS, trying to trying to let go, but yeah, that's not gone very well. And then, oh dear, that's a fail right there. That's that's a la oh well, double fail. All the shed in the world right there, and we're making good progress, but that progress has all been ruined by my inability to let my teammate through around the streets of Monaco. So in the pits we're going to switch back onto the prime tyre and just try and eke out these tyres as long as possible. 
and try and get something out of this at the moment. Pretty lost cause of a Grand Prix. We're a lap behind now as well, so if there's a safety car, that could potentially cause us problems. And we've got a warning for crossing the pit lane line as well. This really isn't going well at all. So we're letting a car... Oh, there's a spinner there. It's Liam once again. Liam's having another another problem. He's spun again. And uh, not a good day for the Williams team whatsoever. That means we've got... We've uh, got 11th place back. Oh, look at that. Little Paul's disconnected once again. Terrible look again for Little Paul. Out of another PS3 F1 race. Liam's off again. It may be a, it may be a connection issue. Uh, we've seen this before on previous Codemasters games of, uh, of, of cars ghosting out. Oh, Gadelho's made a real mess of that. He's gone straight into the tyre barrier at Turn 1. And I don't know whether he got a bit spooked as he uh, lapped me, but um, that's not gone well for him. Lap 18, we've got a safety car, our first safety car of the day around the streets of Monte Carlo. And I think we're just going to stay out for as long as possible here, try and gain back um, the lap that we've lost. So lap 21, the safety car is in this lap. We've not caught the back of the safety car train. So this might not be great at all. And yeah, with the green lights, the green lights now showing and we've lost probably a bit of time there. So lap 22, we're going to pit. These tyres are shredded. The uh, tactic of staying out under the safety car really hasn't worked. You never know. It's still, we've still got a third of this, well, more than a third of this race to go and we could have another safety car yet. So another, another set of prime tyres going onto the car. You never know, this set of tyres might see us out to the end of the race. Being careful to make sure that we don't cross that white line, that yellow line, sorry. Um, and here we're just letting someone through, it's Gadlho. So that's probably showing the extent of the problems that we've got. We're now a full lap down on the next position. Oh, what's going on here? Liam's had another problem. Liam having a torrid day in the Williams so start of lap 25 and oh Liam's Liam's day is over Liam's day is over it's in the wall and the safety car is out again so this time we've caught the back of the safety car train and at the end of lap 27, or 27 for me, 28 for the others, we are racing once again. We've got Ferrari Italia up ahead of us. And I think there's a, I think there's a Lotus involved as well. Yes, it's Gadelho locks up slightly through Sandovart. And as we come into the tunnel, there's a slow moving car. I think it's Tyler. Yes, it's Tyler in the Salvo. He's had an incident there. Oh, he's into the wall as well. He's potentially got front wing damage. I think he's been involved in an accident on this first lap of green lap racing and yes there you can see he's, he's lost his front wing and that's not gone well for him at all so lap 33 trying to eke out the tyres as much as possible oh something's happening behind us that's Freddy Freddy out of the race Freddy straight on in at, into the tyre barrier at Sandovart and that is the end of his race so lap 37 we're really struggling on the tyres and I think we're actually Catching Gadelho with the retirements, we're up to eighth, and now that's going to be seventh because Tyler, two laps from the end of the race, his connection's gone, and that's really unfortunate for him. Last lap of the race, and Gadelho's really out of shape, really struggling on worn tyres. It's a battle to just keep the thing on the track for both me and Gadelho as we get towards the end of this race, and in the end, after all the chaos. It's going to be a 7th place finish for me. And well, a well deserved rest I think after that race. Penalties considered, Ferrari Italia takes another win. Italian Blue comes home in 2nd. Great drive from Matt in 3rd. Domino in 4th. Richie takes 5th. Gadelho in 6th. And me last of the finishes in 7th.
Tyler, Freddy, Liam, SS Power and Little Paul and Don Silver as well unfortunately did not finish the race today. So thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If uh, if you have, then click that like button below. And if you want to see more VRL videos and videos that I generally make, then click that subscribe button in the top right hand corner. On the screen are two videos that you might be interested in. Uh, one is the previous round of the VRL Championship and the other one is the upcoming Silverstone Highlights Reel from VRL. I've been Andrew the Blade. Goodbye.